Hi, I'm Mark Camosio from Gunmark TV and um, I've, I'm going to show you now the latest version of the Hill Pump. I've been a massive fan of air gun pumps and um, I use a Hill one regularly. Now this latest Mark V comes in a very attractive box like that and inside you get obviously um, there's, a, there's also some um, lubricant and a few other extras. I'll just get rid of that. So inside the box this is as it would come. It's very simple to um, you've got the comprehensive instructions as well. Um, but the actual construction of it is very simple, so let's quickly put it together. So you get your main body assembly, like that. Uh, then you've got a nicely moulded Bay Robust base, so you just literally drop that over the top. That then slots just over the gauge and over there. The nice big plastic clip. It's all so easy um, that you know pretty well anyone can do it. Put that on, thread that down lock that down that's now locked into place you can either have it as just a pump which is about 149 150 quid or you can pay a bit extra and get the dry pack system now i'd hotly recommend this um, but it's, it's clever of them to offer it as an option um, if you just want to keep costs down but this is the dry pack system that basically takes the moisture out of the system so i'll just for argument's sake we'll just put all this together and then we can go through the um, pros and cons of it. So that just literally slides down over the top. And um, <clears throat> inside there, you just literally unscrew that top. That's the only part that I've bypassed. You don't, you literally unscrew that section from there and then you'd fill your medium, um, which is very, it looks a bit like mustard seeds. And you pour that in and that's that's actually the stuff that sort of eats the moisture absorbs the moisture so i've done all that i've filled that system then we are taking a cable and you just screw that through into the front i've got is a doughty seal in there you'll notice that just helps the air seal screw that in <clears throat> like a lot of these things it'll all look a bit might look a bit more fiddly than it is in real life because we're trying to show the best aspects of that. Now you get that up, I've done it hand tight and, and then just literally nip it up. And the fill, minute you feel any movement, I'd stop and then check and you probably find you've already got a totally satisfactory air seal. That's what it's all about. So you don't want to over, over tighten with any of these things. But that's a good thing to have. Now the, um, now the last final easy part, literally just applying the handle. And that's a simple screw on. Start that off. There we go. Right, and that's it. Gently, you can feel that nip up. That's the whole construction. So, uh, as you can see, that couldn't have been easier, really. Now, the only bit missing with this when they sell it is the end piece on the adapter. Um, which I found a little annoying. I thought they'd at least include a sort of um, Foster style clip but um, this is the sort of thing you can get and I checked this on a website and you can pick these up for literally a few quid I think best fittings do them um, I think they're about four pound or something you're talking a few quid to get this that's then got your bayonet um, fitting to take um, quick couple you know quick couplers which we've shown before from best fittings um, but any you can put your desired specific adapter from your air gun onto the end here um, and again, that is that sort of fitting is just a hand fit. <clears throat> again, I've got a doughty seal in there to keep the air, you know, give a proper air seal. And again, you'd nip that up with twin spanners um, just to get a, a you know, total proper air seal. So you've got to, you might have to go in your own way, but you, it's literally pence to sort that side out. Then you'd link that to the gun, and um, thereafter you've got your usual um, pumping system and um, We've, we've shown the, the process of standing with the pump, so we don't need to show that now. You've got a bleed valve at the back there, so that's all very good. So, what makes this different um, with the Mark V? Well, basically, um, the in theory, the stroke is 20% easier. Um, I happen to notice, actually, that the, the tube on it is... Um, fractionally it's like a couple of mil thinner as well so of course that loses weight it's not quite I mean I've got the last version they did it's not to me it's not quite as 
solid in the actual stroke as the last version, but I'm nitpicking because obviously the fact that it's got a smaller tube loses about three quarters of a pound in weight. Um, so it's easier to uh, carry around, you know, it's a bit less effort on that front. It's, but the, the machining on these and the robustness is still very, very impressive. Um, so yeah, it's a good unit. So basically, yeah, 20% easier. Um, it's obviously lighter because of that. The other key thing is, uh, if you look on the gauge, these now go up to um, over 300 bar. And um, so that's 300 bar or 4,500 PSI. Uh, approximately so very high pressures and uh, of course that's I think the old one uh, I think my gauge shows 250 bar so it's a big improvement on there so there's there's major improvements on the mark 5 and um, now effort wise when I did a test one against the other to be honest it was within a couple of strokes so uh, there was no dramatic improvement to me in use over the old one but um, that that's the sort of honest assessment however I'd still say these are pretty well the best pump on the market. I'd still say Hills are um, you know, made in Sheffield, but the, the engineering and the feel of this is just so well made. Um, negatives wise, I'm not keen on these handles. I mean, I've got sort of deeper foam or what have you on my ones that I've said, I can't remember if I put, took them off an old pump or the very early Hill one, but these are a bit, raggedy on the hands I find surprisingly they're obviously going to last a while it's quite strong rubber but um, they, they could be a little bit more comfortable but that's about all I can nitpick with this because it's a superb bit of kit just one key uh, mention about the dry pack before we go and that is it's worth every penny you, you if you're talking about pneumatic PCP air guns you're putting um, if you use a bottle you've got dry totally dry air going into the system. If you use a pump, um, you are taking in moisture from the air. So you're putting it moisture, some moisture content into the gun. Now it's no big problem. I say I, you know, I'm obsessed with my kit. I take it very seriously and I want to look after it. And I use a pump permanently. I've used a, a heel pump for about the last 10, 15 years. Um, but this dry pack, they claim takes out 90% of the moisture in the air. Um, so yeah, if you do that, I mean, I, I can fall foul of this. I've got that fitted and then I don't bother to change the medium for a long while. I think they recommend three to four months and then change it again. It's a few pounds for the, you know, the medium to be put in there. And if you put fresh medium in, that takes even more moisture out. But yeah, the in, in use, these are superb, very reliable and um, a great investment. You're independent then with an air source. So yeah, that's great. So that's the Hill Pump Mark V. And can I just add, thanks very much indeed to uh, Range and Country Shooting Sports uh, based in Sleaford um, for the loan of the, uh, the kit here. Um, they're the only uh, premier day state dealer in Lincolnshire apparently. But, uh, yeah.